We're at Stevens Marine here at the Portland Boat Show and I'm standing in front of this awesome 25 foot Columbia from Illumwald Boats. You can see here on the bow, we've got a Minn Kota bow mount trolling motor. Cool thing about this open guide boat, you'll see these all over the lower Columbia River, some of the bigger reservoirs here in the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of one of the premier salmon steelhead sturgeon walleye boats here, but you can see this mounting system up on the bow. This bow mount trolling motor with this fish fighter system will actually come right off and your Columbia River anchor system will snap right into its place. So it's easy to pull this off and on if you're switching fisheries all the time. This, these aluminum wells come pre-rigged with your charging ports and a port also for your uh, bow mount trolling motor. You can see the front compartment here is where your 36 volt lithium battery goes as well as your charger. We've got a dry box here in this middle compartment and a fish box right here. And I know a lot of guys that'll put a barbecue in this compartment right here. Just three large compartments up here on this massive step deck. Let's fold all these down so you can get an idea of what this looks like. A lot of room up here. And I know guys that bass fish out of these two here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, just a great setup. Uh, looking at the bow and the sides of this boat, 33 inch sides on these Columbias. Uh, a little bit taller than the standard Super V's and Super V Pros. Uh, just a lot more boat here. If you look underneath on the bow here, 14 degrees of dead rise, and you can see there's lifting strikes in here as well. These boats playing out so quickly. Full combing gunnel, fish fighter, sliding rod holders, uh, rod lockers here in the full combing gunnel, port and starboard. When you're traveling, you can lock all your stuff in here. They're carpeted, and uh, you can lock these up right there. Let me slide on back to the stern here. You can see the dead rise back here. 14 degrees of dead rise. You can see these aluminum molds have a delta pad right here as well. Really helps playing these boats out. And then it really helps, a lot of guys run pumps with these as well. So they'll, they'll run a prop, say on the lower Columbia, and then they'll switch out and they'll put a pump on so they can run on the cowlets or the snake or some of the bigger steelhead rivers and they'll side drift with these boats as well. And uh, this delta pad really helps load that pump up because the pump shoe will fit right into here. and. Uh, really straightens that water out and forces it right into that pump. 15 horse EFI Mercury kicker, 12 amp alternator on that. Uh, these things are awesome, of course. 225 Verado for Mercury, four stroke power. Uh, big, big alternator on this as well, 85 amp alternator. So you've got a mounting plate here for your side scan transducer or a regular transducer. Now we're up inside this 25 Columbia. This is called a two thirds transom. This is so you can get right in next to your kicker and have full control of this boat. Of course, I mentioned the hot sink earlier, but here's a hot sink here. This is plumbed off the kicker motor, so you've got warm water here at all times. This is an absolute game changer. Uh, they've been around for years, but this one's even plumbed. You can turn the water on and off, throw your regs in there, your tools, keep them clean, whatever. Great, great uh, feature right there. And a nice little spot here for cutting bait, uh, throwing some quick fish out there, whatever. And uh, of course your Merc 225 is right here. This is controlled with a center console on this particular model. Uh, got your controls here, MFD, a little storage cabinet down below right here. And you'll also see them rigged with a tiller. If it was me, I would probably go with a tiller on this boat. It just opens this whole thing up. And a lot of the guides you see running these, you see these all over the Columbia River, uh, the big reservoirs, upper Columbia, uh, for that reason because they run tillers, they can open this whole thing up and just have a lot of room. Here's a uh, electronics box here that locks. You can throw an additional uh, multifunction display in there. Look at the size of the side trays in here. You got double side trays with a toe kick underneath, raw water wash down right down here. And uh, moving forward, we've got seat boxes, six of them in here with storage underneath. Look at that storage. And look at the lead pockets in here. A lot of the river guides, they have all the leads that they need for their customers in here. That way, if they need to switch leads, hey, you need to throw a heavier lead on, customer can reach down there and there, grab an 8, 10, 12 ounce or what it is, snap it right on. In the water it goes. And with these fish fighter, this one's backwards here, with these sliding rod holders, customer can have it right here if they want. They can put it right there, whatever's comfortable. And again, a lot of storage with these seat boxes. And these can be removed too. So if you only have four guests, Maybe you want a little more room in here, you can just pop one of these out. These also slide. Uh, moving on up front here, the cleats are welded underneath. So you don't have a cleat up top here to catch your net. You go to net a fish, this is what drives me absolutely crazy because I've had this happen. Go to net a fish, net gets caught on that cleat 
and you don't get the fish, right? So the cleats are underneath. I know a lot of guys that put uh, pop-up cleats on here that are flush, uh, but that's why they put those cleats underneath. And then again, look at the step deck here. Just a huge step deck. Uh, so guys will oftentimes bass fish out of these things in the summertime. Uh, dare I say the B word here in the Pacific Northwest, but great bass fishing platform too with that bow mount kicker motor. That's the 25 Columbia from Aluma Weld. If you like this video, hit the other video we have linked down below here. We'll catch you next time right here on Live the Boat.